Going carnivore in Thailand, baby. Day number 36. Out here in the pool getting some exercise. That lion scale still lying, but I have cut the butter out of my coffee. Had one cup of coffee this morning. Very light on the on the heavy cream. Uh, last night had a delicious ribeye that was cooked at 58.3 in the sous vide for about seven hours. Super, super tender. Lots and lots of fat. I'll uh, show you just how much fat I cut off. Now remember, I'm using the, uh, the new thought here is, as long as I'm really, really fat, why should I be eating a lot of fat? I know that my body's gonna burn fat especially being in ketosis like this and not giving it any carbs. So I'm just trying to do the beef and leave the butter and the fat out. So I'll show you how much fat I cut off of that steak. Uh, today, we're putting in two ribeyes and two pork chops in the sous vide at the same time. Set to the same 58.3 degrees Celsius, which is a 137.94 degrees Fahrenheit for those who care about specifics. And we'll put them in there for about six, seven hours. And it, that will super render them tender, tender, tender. But, but those steaks will be medium rare. They'll still be plenty red when we're done with them. Now, I've not done a pork chop that way. But I'll put a couple pork chops in there and we'll try that out. Uh, I want to thank everybody for their comments and their encouragement. That's the word I was looking for, encouragement. Because God knows I need encouragement on this. It's not easy. And, and like I said, I think the biggest thing is carnivore is not for everybody. It's definitely, probably for me, I'm not giving up. Never give up. Never give up. Like that frog, never give up. But it's not for everybody because I know too many people who eat everything. I mean, they're eating vegetables and they're eating seed oils and they're eating fruits and they're, they're, you know, over here traveling the world and eating all these different kinds of food. Tremendous foods. And they've got them everywhere. Now, I'm going to tell you, I, we just went to a new store called Go Wholesale and they have live fish and live seafood there that's unbelievable they have i have to go back to show you i can't get my hands on this video wide enough to show you they had crabs live that were this big i'll show you a video of it right here i'll throw it in Unbelievable. I mean, this crab, my goodness gracious. And it was 4,000 baht, which is about $100 per kilo, is is what the live crab costs. About $100 a kilo. And this thing looked like it was heavy as me. I don't think I could afford it. Uh, I don't know, but cra eating crabs too much work, let me tell you. If... If you gave me live crab and I had to cook it and then get the meat out of the crab legs and get the meat out of the shell, I'd probably lose weight on that for sure because the amount back in the States, if we ever went out for, got live crab legs or whatever uh, delivered to your table, I always ask the maitre to, you know, crack them bad boys open good before you bring them to me 
because I'm not, I didn't bring my tool set with me. I didn't bring hammers and chisels. And I never found out the art of getting the meat out of a good Alaskan king crab leg. And I'll tell you what, I, I'm not in America anymore, but I'd hate to think with Alaskan king crab legs that are really fresh uh, would cost. And let me tell you, these crabs at Go Wholesale, they're fresh all right. They're there swimming around looking at you. Their eyes going like you. Like, what the fuck am I doing here? Huh? I got no clue how I ended up in this tank. But there are people looking at me with with their mouth watering. Yeah. Pretty cool place. So uh, with that on day 36, I'm going to keep on trucking now. I'm still interested in getting this podcast off the ground. So I'm going to put up my email address. And if you're interested in letting me interview you and we can just have a discussion personally, uh, just me and you and, and the hundred people who watch. <laughs> well, but you know, sometimes it helps to, to, uh, have somebody to talk to. Have somebody listen to your story. I'm a good listener. I got two ears and only one mouth. So, you know, God made, God gave us the opportunity right off the bat to be a better listener than a talker. Now, don't tell me, don't get me wrong. Some people sound pretty good talker too, but I got two ears. If they gave me two mouths, then it'd be a different story, but only one mouth. And I don't speak with forked tongue either. All right, back to exercising in the pool. That's all, folks.